was always in one's way in love affairs. I remember I might have married Lady Dorothy Carmine if it had not been for a little rogue of a major who ran away with her before she could get sight of me. I wonder too what it is the ladies can see in them to be so fond of them. Unless it be a touch of the old serpent in them that makes the little creatures be caught like vipers with a bit of red cloth. Who oh, is this the captain coming? It, it is. Oh, there is a probability of succeeding about the fellow that is mighty provoking. <laughs> Who the devil is he talking to? What by the purpose have I been plotting? A noble reward for all my scheme. The little kid.
Upon my conscience, Mr. Akers, you must leave these things to me. Stay now, I'll show you. By my balance, my Lucius, the Barbary is off. The cooler I shall take my hand. Hey, I suppose you would aim at him best of all if he was out of sight. No, Sir Lucius, but I should think it's 40 or 80, 30 yards. Oh, nonsense, nonsense. Three or four feet between the mountains of your pistols is as good as a mile. Of course, no. There's no valor in turning himself near. But let me bring it down in long shot, Sir Lucius. A long shot, if you long. Well, the gentleman's friend and I must decide that. But uh, tell me now, Mr. Akers, in case of an accident, is there any little will or commission I could execute for you? Uh, I'm much obliged to you, Sir Lucius, but I don't understand. Oh, well, you may think there's no being shot at without a little risk. And if an unlucky bullet should carry a quietus with what? it, I say it would be no time then to be bothering you about family matters. A quietus? Uh, for instance, now, if that should be the case, uh, would you choose to be pickled and sent home? Or uh, would it be the same to you to lie here in the Abbey? Well, I'm told there is very snug lying in the Abbey. Pickled? Snug no, lying in the Abbey? Watch. Tremors, I don't talk seven. I suppose, Mr. Akers, you never were engaged in an affair of this kind before. No, Sir Lucius, never before. Oh, that's a pity. There's nothing like being used to a thing. Pray now, how would you receive the gentleman's shot? Oh, I'd practice that. I'll make myself small enough, I will stand anyway. Oh, no, no, now you're quite out. Now, if I hit you in the body, my bullet has a double chance. But if it misses the vital part on the left side, it will be very hard if it don't succeed on the right. A vital part? Oh, I right. stay, stay now. There, fix yourself so. There, there, there. Now a ball or two may pass clean through your body and never do you any harm at all. <laughs> clean through me. A ball or two clean through me. Why, oh, and many things, and much it is the genteelest attitude into the bargain. Lucky for Lucius, if it's all the same to you, I'd just as leave me shot in an awkward position as the genteel one. So by my valor, I will stand edgeway. So, oh, I hope they won't disappoint us. I hope they do. <laughs> oh, no, no, please, I think I see them coming. Hey, what? Coming? Hey, who are those yards are getting over the side? Well, there are two of them indeed. Let them come, hey? <laughs> we, 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 we won't run. Run? No. Uh, uh, um, uh, we won't run. Uh, by my valor. What the devil's the matter with you? Oh, nothing. Nothing, my dear for Lucius. It's just uh, I, 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 I don't feel quite so bold from how well I did. Oh, fine. Consider your honor. Ah, oh, true. My honor. I do so, Lucius. I do no more to every now and then about my honor. Well, here they're coming. Oh, so Lucius. If I wasn't with you, I should almost think that I was afraid. <laughs> and my valor should leave me. <laughs> valor will come and go. It's a grave. Keep it fast while you have it. Oh, so here. Here. I think it's going. <laughs> yes, my valor certainly is going. <laughs> so I feel it sticking off. Losing <laughs> out isn't worth the palms of my hands. <laughs> Appointment like a Christian. 
Now look at the Lucas. There is no occasion at all for me to quarrel. And if it's all the same to you, I must leave let it alone. Observe me, Mr. Akers. I must not be trifled with. Now you certainly have challenged somebody, and you came here to fight him. Now, if that gentleman is willing to represent him, I can't see for my soul why it isn't just the same thing. No, Mr. Lucian, I tell you, just one barrel of our challenges. A man you see that dare not tell his face. Well, if he was here, well, I'd make him give up his pretensions direct. Bob, now let me set you right. There is no such person as Beverly in the case. Bob. The person who assumed that name is before him. And if his pretensions are the same in both characters, He's ready to support them in whatever way you please. Well, uh, this is lucky. Now you have an opportunity. What? But my dear friend Jack Absolute, not if he were fifty Beverly. Do solutions. You would not have me so unnatural. Oh, upon my conscience, Mr. Akers. Your brother has oozed away with a vengeance. <laughs> well, not in the least. Odd backs and the feathers. But I'll be your second with all my heart. And if you should get a claw eater, why you make a man me entirely? I'll get you some blonde in the other. I'll pickle you and send you over to blunder my hall or anything of the kind with the greatest of floods. Ha! You are little better than a coward. Mine gentleman, he calls me a coward. Coward was the word by my brother. Well, sir. Well, sir. It's not that I mind the word coward. <laughs> Coward men are using a joke. But if you had called me a poltroon, I'd well, say. Well, well, I'd have thought you a very good friend. Ha! Ah, you are beneath my notice. Hey, perfect, Sir Lucius. You can't find a better second than my friend Akers. He's a determined dog, called in the country fighting ball. Generally kills a man a week, don't you, Bob? Oh, oh, I! At home. Oh. Well then, Captain, tis we must begin. So. Well, I'll live a bachelor. <laughs> Captain, 
Captain. Give me your hand. An affront handsomely acknowledged becomes an obligation. Uh, but uh, as for the lady, Captain, well, if she chooses to deny her own handwriting... Oh, look, look, you dissolve my mystery. Good husband to Mrs. Malaprop. Oh, so loud. 